Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing and swatching some classic and personal favorite shades of MAC lipsticks. Even though there are a variety of lipstick brands in the market, MAC lipsticks are still popular and relevant today because they offer a combination of quality, variety and reputation that appeals to makeup enthusiasts of all ages and backgrounds. MAC lipsticks have high quality formula. They come in variety of finishes such as satin, gloss, cream sheen, matte and offer a wide range of colors from classic reds and pinks to bold purples and greens, catering to a diverse range of skin tones and preferences. Lipsticks have become iconic and recognizable with their sleek black and silver packaging and signature vanilla scent. For reference, my shade in MAC Studio Fix Fluid is NC25. Now let's get to the swatches and review. First category is Lustre Formula. Like I said, it's been discontinued, but uh, you might still find these lipsticks in uh, either Amazon or eBay. First up I have is Plumpful. I have labeled uh, my lipsticks like so, so, just for easier visibility so I can grab them easily. It's a rosy plum, but not pink. It's sheer, but you can build up to get slightly dark plum. It's fairly unique and completely wearable for every day. The next shade in uh, Lustre formula is Lustring. Lustring is a moderately cool tone dark pink with a natural finish. It's a pretty berry pink and not milky pink. Lustring has to be one of my favorite lipstick colors from MAC. Moving on to the next category is Amplified Finish. This is Brick Ola Amplified Finish. I love this one. Um, it's uh, better for autumn or winter, but uh, it looks better on neutral to light skin tones. My favorite fact about this one is as the color starts vanishing, the dye on the lip stays. Next up we have is Full Fuchsia. It has been such a delight to own and wear this lipstick. It lights up my whole face and makes me look more awake. Feels great on my lips and wears well. It might look a bit scary in the tube but when applied it looks great. Bright but highly wearable. Full Fuchsia. Next up we have Girl About Town. A dark fuchsia pink. Such an amazing fuchsia color, it's so bright and fun. Next up we have is Chatterbox, a warm tone medium pink with a natural finish. Next up we have is Up the Amp, a bright purple with satin finish. Very versatile, beautiful purple color, so bright and pigmented. You can wear this to work, interview, going to university, meeting up with friends. It doesn't bleed or feather. Next category is Retro Matte. And the first lipstick here we have is Ruby Woo. Probably most popular red lipstick, the quintessential red. I personally find this little bit drying. But I'm ready to overlook that because the color is so beautiful. So if you plan to wear it for a long time, I recommend you to prep your lip, exfoliate, buff and use a lip balm. Otherwise it will cling to dry areas on your lip. It's my favorite MAC red lipstick of all time because it's so intense and saturated beautiful red color. Next up in retro matte category, we have flat out fabulous. Again this is a cool toned dark fuchsia, magenta pink with semi matte finish. It's so pigmented that you don't need multiple swipes. Such a bright fuchsia, beautiful fuchsia color. Flat out fabulous. Moving on to the satin finish, the first lipstick I have is Twig. Being a satin finish, it has staying power of matte but it's moisturizing. Satins are my favorite MAC finishes because they are so moisturizing. For a medium light skin tone, um, it can be a nude color with classic vanilla scent.
The next shade we have is Captive, which is a medium plum with satin finish. It's from their permanent line. Next shade is Vegas Old, which is a medium dark coral and satin finish. I love this shade for spring. It's not too pastel but not too bright and leans more towards orange than pink. Application and wearability are excellent, like most of their MAC lipsticks. It doesn't bleed and it's my perfect MAC coral. Next up we have is Cream Sheen Formula Cross Wires. It's a lovely shade of coral pink. It's not super bright like Vegas Old but it's not muted that it ends up washed out. It's easily one of my MAC's favorite coral amongst MAC permanent line. Cream Sheen Formula gives it a nice glisten sheen and texture which makes it very wearable. It has glossy finish and is comfortable on lips. The next category is matte finish and we have Meher. MAC describes it as a dirty blue pink, a mauve with satin finish, one of those cult lipstick colors and I clearly understand why. It's a matte formula, comfortable, quite hydrating and long wearing. Next shade is Lady Danger, a warm toned dark orange semi matte finish, super flattering, a show stopper of red color with orange undertones. Plus, it's a great shade of red during summer time. Next we have is Russian Red, a universally flattering dark red. If Ruby Woo seems too much then this is the next best choice. Russian Red is a richer deeper red and not nearly as strong as Ruby Woo. This color suits my light complexion and dark hair and stays through the evening after dinner and drinks. It's a good evening out lipstick. Next up we have a Candy Yum Yum, a neon cotton candy pink with strong blue undertones, incredibly bright. So for women of color out there that fall into the dark range, I'll say this is a wonderful color, extremely bright and beautiful. Next we have Frost category and the first one we have is Plum Dandy. A medium plum with frost finish. Next we have is fresh Moroccan. A frosted red brown. Next category is powdered kiss formula. I have fallen in love here. It is a slightly warmed tone medium dark fuchsia with a matte finish that delivers a romantic blur of effortless soft focus color. So that's all the matte lipsticks that I have uh, but we'll also quickly move on to some glosses. Um, I'll quickly show the swatches of these glosses on my lips. First step I have is Heroi. Next I have is Impassioned. Next I have is Loud and Lovely. This is my favorite shade, Double Dare. Finally we have Richer Lusher. Alright. That's all what I have for you today. MAC lipsticks are timeless classics that have stood a test of time and continues to be a favorite among makeup enthusiasts and my favorites too. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with more videos soon. Until then, bye.